we got back. Uh, so this is part two of our trinkets update. Um, as you guys can see, there is quite a bit of trinkets that we've purchased. Um, I'll let you guys know where I got them and what they are. So let's begin. Here we go. Um, first and foremost, let's start with all the stuff we got at the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. Uh, first, I got this uh, Pikachu World Collection. These are po uh, different Pikachus from all the different countries like Italy, the US, Korea, uh, Japan, and so on. It's pretty cool. Saw this on eBay. It's going for like 20, 30 bucks easy, but it's like only 850 yen at the Pokemon Center, so I had to pick one up. Um, there is a green one. The only difference is that the background for this one right here in the middle is either blue or green. That's all. Um, so I like blue better. Okay, then as Dave uh, and I pointed out in our one of our videos before, we got a bunch of the coins. Uh, I ended up getting the sleeping Pikachu, the Pikachu that's shooting off electricity, the three starter Pokemon from the black and white series, the Emolga, and the Victini uh, golden coins. Um, I also got the Pokemon trainer hat, so now I can catch them all and be a master one day. Um, just to start it all off, I got three starter Pokemon plushies, uh, one of each type and one from each generation that I liked. So as you can tell from the right side, it is the Smugly from the Black and White series, its real name being Snivy, um, grass type Pokemon. Then I have the Charmander in the middle from the original red and blue Pokemon series. Um, uh, he's a fire type, obviously, and last but not least, the water Pokemon, Mudkip. Um, to be honest, I forgot what version he came in. Uh, if you remember, let me know in the comments below. Um, anyway, to move on, uh, they also gave me, apparently since I spent so much money, being a foreigner that I am, they gave me two free gifts. Uh, they are like um, Christmas Pokemon hang-up things that Dave and I might hang up in our parto during Christmas. So, yes. Okay, um, anyway, uh, let's go back to other things. At Lawson's, um, as Ben had informed me on Facebook and as some of these flyers that I've been getting have been telling me, there was some limited edition Kaon stuff. I did see some of it. Um, the plushie for Yui is a bit expensive. I did find it in one place, but I didn't pick it up because I honestly I didn't like the material on it and the price was a little too Takai for my taste. But I did pick up these cool uh, cups for about three bucks each. Um, they're, I'm not sure, but I think they might be limited edition. This one has Yui Hirasawa and Azusa Nakano. It has the Hokago Tea Time logo. And then I got the other one, which is the rest of the members. This has Mio, Akiyama, uh, Ritsu Tanaka, and Sumugi Kotobuki. Anyway, so that one's from Lawson's. Uh, I got that Okachimachi, I believe, uh, that area. Okay, um, this is not spectacular. This is the BB we got here at the coin laundry. Um, I haven't really been using it, but like I said before one of my articles, I may use it on Dave to wake him up. Because Dave sleeps too much. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, and last but not least, uh, did I cover everything else? Uh, yes. So, last but not least, as you guys can tell, this is a cup of noodles. Uh, this, I got it because it's my screen name on Heroes of New Earth, and it will be on Dota 2 when you guys invite me. Okay, anyway, uh, they have apparently like their, uh, what was it, like 40th anniversary. So this one's cool because it comes with a cup of noodles. On the left side, a legit uh, cup of noodles. And on the right side, it comes with a fake cup of noodles and it comes with a figure of a Gundam. In this case, this is a red and white Gundam dude and he'll have the cup of noodles logos on it. So I have to put it together. But let me go ahead and open it up real quick. Show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully I won't destroy the box in the process. Nope, starting to destroy the box already. It's okay, I think. Let's see here. You know what, this happens quite often. Let's see. Oh right, you know what, it might help if I get rid of the tape here. It might also help if I had something to get rid of the tape with. 
know what? Dave, why don't you hand me the something sharp? Right. Go. Oh, whatever, that worked. Okay, here we go. Uh, sorry guys, took a little bit. Alright, so see, as you can tell, here's the cup Gundam. It looks just like a cup of noodles. Cup. But inside, oh ho ho, see? Oh god. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to build this up from scratch. And hopefully by the time it finishes, it will look something like this on the front. If not, I'm gonna cry. A lot. But anyway, uh, here's the regular cup of noodles. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it, or if I'm just going to put it in my detolf and let it sit there forever and collect dust. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put comments below again. Alright, anyway, this is Alex signing off. I'm going to enjoy my trinkets and put them away now. Okay, okay, this is Dave, and I am here to show you what goods we got today from our Tokyo Tower adventure. Um, this is a brochure from Tokyo Tower. It shows what it looks like in daylight. Good thing we went at the night time because we can show you the scenery during the night. Unfortunately, you can't see some of the other sites, but um, yeah, we'll be talking a little bit about Tokyo Tower anyway. Um, hope you enjoy the video for that. Of course, obligatory, keeping our ticket and taking pictures of it. And uh, we ate at a place called Pizza Express, Pizza LA Express and McDonald's. Um, at Tokyo Tower, we were able to get coins. And so I got a little medallion, um, the little the default looking one, which is like since 1958. Uh, Alex got the same one as well. And on the back, it's a pretty plain cover of Tokyo Tower. I think it's pretty cool. It has a nice weight to it. I might keep it on me and maybe use it as a pog or like flip it or something. But um, as for the Pokemon Center, I actually picked up the two Pikachus as well. Electric Pikachu, I'll show you a picture of him, and Sleeping Pikachu. And this I'm gonna go give to my sister, because it is a Tokyo Tower with Hello Kitty on it. And she likes Hello Kitty. Of course we have to keep little Mr. Santa Claus, because he needs a home. And I bought this the other day at, um, I forget if it was Lawson's, but it was a convenience store. And, you know, I thought, okay, you know, I already have six packages of Pucho. But this one has freaking AKB48 all over it. Like, look at this. Oh, it's from Family Mart. See, there's them as Pucho members, and there's pictures of them. So this is a little special package thing. I'm going to open it up for you and show you what it is. I think it is a fake magazine. Or, like, it mimics one of the real magazines they've, not, they've actually been in. So, I'm going to open this up. Like a box and put down the Pucho. And I specifically chose my Otsuko, of course. Because she's the best. Bam! It's like a book! It's a tiny book for tiny people. Like, how does anyone read from this? It, this book needs to be at least three times bigger. Alright, Otsuko Maeda. AKB 48 -o. Whoa! This might be her signature. We we're not even sure. But these are like mini pictures of her. And oh my god. That's, that's her on top of her. So it's like a photo book. Except it's small. So I can hide it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and as for this Pucho. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Well, finally, because the other six flavors of Pucho are sitting over there in our cabinet they can't, they shelf. Can't see it. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> so, this is a, like, I guess it's AKV flavored Pucho. I didn't even read what it is, but yeah. Well, here we go. So, it tastes like mass marketed media productions? Hell yeah. I can't even tell what it tastes like. But it tastes like heaven. Tastes like capitalism to me. Delicious capitalism. This is Dave signing off.